Well, not long ago, some of you were a little shocked at my seemingly risky improvised cutting away of a slot in my guitar to make room for a pickup. And I did say I'd go through the technique again using a better saw, uh, such as this one, and also securing the guitar firmly. Now, somebody suggested the operation could be done with a Stanley knife, but no, there would be less control cutting through the hard cellulose lacquer and the three millimeter thick guitar sides uh, would be unsupported. So this is the method if you're going to do it by hand and actually it's very quick. So this is really a lesson in tool control and looking at efficient ways to tackle the task. All you need is skill and confidence. Now I didn't bother measuring the position for the cutaway but just used the pickup to copy from and I applied some masking tape to do the job. So don't forget there's a tiny overlap on the pickup so you have a little bit of leeway here. No need to call Matron. Uh, one of the reasons I've not been making my videos in high definition is that some of my tools are a little rusty and also it shows up the lines on my face but I'm beginning to realize that you woodworkers are expecting more and more. So this is actually my first HD video that will show up the specks of wood dust. Now you know it's a funny thing, the improvised rusty tenon saw I used on the first demonstration actually has the weight which is an advantage when sawing. Uh, this little guitar maker saw which is used for cutting frets mainly has greater control all in all but lacks the weight. As I'm using just the end few teeth all the force in the sawing action has to be directed to the tip of the saw through your hands but actually it's easier uh, with this little saw. I'm left-handed, so ideally I want the line I'm working to on the right. I then turn the guitar around and reposition the sawing. See how important it is to have the workpiece secured firmly. Uh, slow up as you get to the end of the cut. OK, we're nearly there. There she goes. Oh, I was a little hasty in marking out and it's slightly oversized, so I can just take a bit more off. It shouldn't take too long. Well, there we have it. Now, did you honestly notice the difference in image quality between the original video inserts and this new video? No. You were absorbed in the action, which is the all-important thing. Now, for your interest, high definition uses about five times more megabytes and is much slower to render. But if HD is the new rules, then I guess I've got to conform to it. But back to woodworking, this isn't really breaking the rules. It's just knowing what you're doing and getting the job done quickly. It's woodworking. It's fun. Thanks for watching.